Welcome back to the Director's Commentaries on Callback Episode 4, The Audition. And aside from episode number one, this is my favorite. The reason is very simple. It's all because of this here. The intro and the outro. Yeah, even though this episode was presented as episode number four, it was shot as episode number three. And at that point, I thought we still had a lot of time to shoot our episodes. But we ended up losing one month uh, at some point. This shot here is a reference to uh, Pulp Fiction, when Bruce Willis's character is walking to pick up his watch. There's a scene that looks like that one. You might have noticed. So yeah, the reason why I like this episode is simply because I took the time to make an intro and an outro. So to set up the main scene, um, to wrap it, uh, to present it, to set up the table for what was coming, what was to come. So, um, but I couldn't do that for the three last episodes because uh, that we shot because, yeah, we had lost a month of shooting. We we're shooting about one to two uh, days per week, and uh, so it means that we lost about eight days of shooting. And that's why we instead of shooting 12 episodes we 10 to 12 episodes like it was the goal because we wrote 12 episodes we ended up shooting only six episodes yeah this segment here uh is one of my favorite in the entire series i love the editing it's very tight i love the exchange that we have and even though i had wide shots two shots of that scene i've decided to go only with the close-up shots because I thought we were more into the um, psychological uh, um, in the heads of our uh, of the characters and um, it was serving the scene better but I had to search for those uh, those shots because uh, at first when I look at the rushes you know after the day of shooting I was going to my computer I was watching the rushes I was very disappointed I thought we had to reshoot this entire scene here because as you know I was wearing a lot of hat hats I was the director of photography director actor writer editor and when I look at the rushes at first there's always one of them that stands out that takes the lead and most of the time it's the director of photography because what do we see first when we look at rushes well it's the image and the image is, well, it's the responsibility of the director of photography. So here, everything was overexposed. I mean, overlit, overexposed. Uh, I think a few lights in on my right cheek side stayed open in the entrance of the house. And I didn't get the, um, the contrast that I'm always going for. I told you before that I'm always trying to shoot the shadow side of uh, the, the character. And here it's it's a flat light and I didn't like it that much. On my co-star it's better because I could go behind the camera and validate the shot and it was uh, and she was also uh, she had a very nice suntan and I was very white so it's I should have toned down the uh, the lighting. I had a Fresnel on my side on uh, my left cheek but the other side was way too lit so I didn't like it but once I started editing the scene I then found among the 15 to 20 takes that we had of that, I found those very great shots that my um, director of photography, uh, I mean my cameraman uh, did and um, I started editing those, uh, those takes and uh, I realized how good of a scene we had. And that's often the case, uh, if you have 15 to 20 takes, oftentimes there's two to three takes that are good one of each you know uh, shot that that you did and um, you have to find them so I guess when I started watching and the, looking at the rushes I started by the wrong one so I thought it was all a piece of junk but uh, when I found those shots and I start editing them I realized how sincere we were in the acting and how good it was and how tight it was. Uh, I'm very much, uh, very much like the editing that I did of that uh, scene. 
And that shot is very nice also from my cameraman. Love that shot. This is a new shot on me. And that shot, we did it on a slider. But the problem is the, the motor. Well, it's, the, it's more the battery linkage to the motor that break just before we started shooting. And we had to, uh, my camera guy had to push the slider instead of using the, the motor. And it, um, it was very tricky. We worked hard on that, but, and the thing is, it doesn't even show. The only way you can see that there's a slider is to look at the, the light on top right of the image. And here you can see a bump so um so we worked so hard we lost so much time with that slider shot have i known that it was not showing that we were on a slider i would have saved at least half an hour by just putting the camera on a tripod and doing the same thing i also remember as an actor here i uh since i was getting out of my comfort zone i was trying to be funny which i don't think i necessarily i necessarily am funny i'm not a comedian at least um, I remember that morning I said my, to my co-star, I said, um, you know what, I'm going to make you laugh today. I had my head full of ideas, and, um, but I was very nervous and uh, I was not sure of myself at all. So at one point she started saying, you know what, that was very, and she was laughing. And she said, those little dance steps that you're making, this and that is, is working very well. So do that more. I said, more? Yeah, more. So I said, you know what? Take, 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 take the, um, take the lead. You're gonna direct me for that scene here. So you're the director now, and she helped me to uh, achieve those uh, funny things. Hopefully, I'm funny that I'm that I'm doing as an actor here. Now, in the kitchen, I've chosen to uh, keep only the close-up shots. I kept none of those wide shots because I thought it was serving the scene better to be with us psychologically here I did completely the opposite I stayed in a wide shot American shot framing because it's a physical there's a lot of physicality in that scene here we wouldn't have seen all the gestures that my character is doing here have we been in a close-up shot it was also um, an economy of, of time by not going in close-up shots I've also decided that um, it was better to stay in medium shots like that. And here there's a little subtle, nice camera movement from my cameraman. I also had to uh, create a sun outside. I put a Fresnel outside the window here, on top of the window, hidden there with my cameraman. He helped me. And uh, we had to simulate the sun because the sun was in front of the house and we're in the back of the house. And I wanted to have uh, my character uh, lit on the left cheek. So, uh, and take a look above the fireplace on the left. There's a moose head there. It's the it's the bracket that is holding the top of the um, the fireplace. I thought it was. Uh, interesting the, the effect that it was creating so yeah this shot here uh we were at the end of the day it took an entire day to shoot only the inside so instead of looking at the playbacks once i thought I, we had a good shot i said to my cameraman run it we'll do a lot of takes and uh i'll have some backups while editing so we opted to have more options than to uh, be more um you know picky on the shots and that's the outro so that's the uh, ending of it so this episode is is better wrapped than the other one uh, other ones so i like it pretty much i also like the expression of on the face of my co-star here it's worth uh, five bucks for sure so um yeah have i had the time to um wrap all those all my episodes that way the production value would, would have been better but um we didn't have time I was the only one who wanted to do it. Everybody in the team thought uh, we should not do it because we don't have time. So, But I had all my time to do it. But uh, some of the people were not available as much as I was. Yeah. Uh, so those are the little dance steps that uh, my co-star said. Do that more. It's very rewarding. And when you see her laugh, she's really laughing. 
we started shooting her at, at first so uh every time i was doing something she had not seen him before so um th there she was laughing a lot so uh those um well it was mainly reaction shots from her that i wanted so but sometimes she was laughing too much so i, I couldn't keep that in the final editing and when we moved the camera on my side, while she, uh, like I said, she directed me, I was well rehearsed and it was a little bit better. And that shot here, that thing I'm doing, it was her idea. And uh, she said, do that, it's going to be funny. And she was, it was so funny that she started laughing. So it ruins the take. <laughs> but we had fun. It's not to blame anything. So two more episodes left. See you in about a week from now for episode number five.